let's jump to our third question, which is how do you get a higher reputation? And Leah, you are the expert on this. <laughs> it's kind of an uncomfortable place to be, as Cass has pointed out in the past. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned, I am firmly of the belief that my actions from day one in Steemit helped to create my high reputation, which was I spent 50% of my day. By the way, I had quit all of my day jobs. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> and I, I really, I quit, I quit all of them within three days of finding Steemit. I was like, I'm done. I, I can see this world. It makes sense to me. And the main things that made sense to me was the fact that Dan and Ned were very unusual and that we get transparent discussion of moving forward, I thought, I'm, I'm done looking. This is, this is the best deal in town for me. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a, okay, so back awesome. to the question. I get off track really easily. What was the question again? Oh, How reputation. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Basically, it comes down to this. Do you realize that reputation comes from the minds of others? People forget that. They think about their own ego and they're, how do I get my reputation? The, think about this. The repu your reputation exists in the minds of others. It's very simple. You do what you would wish people would do for you. Golden rule. And I, I don't always, I cannot always live up to this ideal. We are all selfish creatures. And just being aware of your selfishness will make you aware of this one fact. When you write a comment, don't view the comment from your own perspective. Shut that thing off. View the comment from the other person, the receiver. That will eliminate half of your problems right there. Super strong. Ending. Basically, you go on Steam It. Everyone's trying to get the master post, the big payout. Very few people go on just saying, I'm going to comment like crazy today. <laughs> like, I'm going to give some high-quality comments that alleviates pain, suffering, and confusion from as many minnows as I possibly can. And by God, there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've given people some of that advice uh, in regards to just coming on. Some people are like, but I don't really post anything or, you know, but I, I'm like, Learn. I, 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 I would say on Facebook, you post a lot of comments. That money, that's money-making comments on yeah. Steam. That's what I yes. tell them. It's a, it's a natural way to get them doing what they're already doing and getting lured in by the promise of money for something well, good. I would it's actually go, promise, I would go a little bit further than that. I would say be authentically commenting right. with writers that you like. Big, Ooh. big thing that big uh, weaving fabric between everything I talk about passion when you find people that you really like their stuff and you comment, you get you add immense value. Like this guy, um, the crypto fiend comments these amazing comments on like every secret writer post in existence almost. He earns fourteen dollars a week <laughs> only by commenting. So basically if you ask yourself, hey, is zero dollars on my posts good? No, what would you rather have? Now he's formed a bond with me because he has provided immense value to my secret writer project. That is the key. He gets upvoted every single time he comments. Do you realize how much reputation he has gained? A lot. Because it, you... It's, like, it's, so, it's so clear to me. You create value from your passion, what you really believe and want to go within life and you give that value you hand your value to someone else I love and, that. and you don't do it you don't do it because you're thinking of well i'm gonna get no that's not how it works if you think that you will automatically get value rewards payment because because of just thinking through how is this going to come back to me it probably won't come back to you it is, it is an unselfish act that gets your reputation up and up. And but in the system, 
you know, just, so I like everything you just said, but for those who are, you know, more focused on like, how does the system work? You know, like, how does it, like, in order to get a higher reputation, you have to get upvotes from users with, who have a higher reputation than you. Is that, is that correct? correct? Okay. Yes. You do. And there's two way, there's honestly, there's two ways to do it. You can write posts and get upvotes that way. But if you're not that successful in the very beginning, which I can't imagine that many people would be success out of the gate. There are certain situations. Well, then you can start to look at it. Hey, what do I find interesting? What, is, what, what are the good things to learn? Who can I learn from? You start putting high quality comments in their posts. Those authors that you provided immense value to will start upvoting your comments your reputation will start rising. So you can get it through comments and posts, both. Mm -hmm. Talking from multiple fronts. Yeah, and you know, what you said about, you know, setting aside your ego and, and being, un, you know, commit acts of unselfish service. I think, you know, there, there's a lot of wisdom in that. You know, it's hard because you approach it and you see these big dollar signs. And so you're like, you know, the- That's the trap. Them. Yeah. That's the, the mental trap. It, everyone gets caught up in it. I get caught up in it because my friends who I, I told them, get in here right now. And they waited. Now they're in there and they're making thousands of dollars. I make a little hundred dollar here. But I tell you what, persistence and mixing up strategy is going to be the most important things that you can do. Because basically, steam it is a beast that changes organically over time. And I constantly change my strategy all the time. I'm changing I think, what I think about what's going on. Uh -huh. But I think the, the, you know, the developers are consciously attempting to manipulate uh, people's greed. You know, I think that's a, that's a choice in the way that they're showing the payouts too. Because I don't know if you noticed yesterday they put through a change in the UI where now the payout totals uh, appear actually higher because now the number shows both the author payout and the curator payouts. And something else I noticed is that the, the author payout at the very least, um, yeah, would be the author payout. It assumes that the Steam dollar is currently worth $1. So yesterday, for example, I got a payout of uh, $772 and half of that was in steam dollars and then i checked and it so the 772 was calculated based on the assumption that steam dollar was worth one dollar but it was actually only worth 89 cents at that moment so i think those are a couple decisions uh that are being made uh by the developers to make the numbers seem even bigger than they really are well from no from what i understand though the the price of steam is constantly fluctuating and the system also expresses those fluctuations. But I, I'm talking about Steam dollars in this case. So my, the payout was right. 772. You get half in Steam dollars, yeah. So how, yeah, I got 300. Well, no, you get. Do you understand? You 25 percent of that is going to be curation rewards. No, I. I so I. So I. The You're number, already factoring the, that okay, in. So, yeah. So hold on. The, the big number was 853. That was the big number that they show you. You're getting paid eight. Oh yeah. Free. And then you click, and now this is new. It shows curation rewards like eighty bucks and author seven seventy two. And so I thought, well, okay. And then I, but I got three hundred eighty six Steam dollars for that. I know you get half in Steam Power, half in Steam dollars, three hundred eighty six. But I, you know, if that seven seventy two number was correct, I should have gotten more Steam dollars. Sorry, yes, yeah, Steam dollars, because the Steam dollar was worth 89 cents at the time of the payout. Do you understand? Well, yeah, so and well, it depends. Exaggerated. They exaggerated. You also, you also could wait because the conversion, you know, if Steam, if the, if the uh, value goes up, then just, you know, convert it at that time. When no, the, I know, I know oh, that. Yeah, I know yeah. That. But what I'm saying is, yeah. 
They are purposefully exaggerating. I don't think they're purposely doing it. They I would are, have to disagree. They if they, if they I could ask Dan himself, but I don't they think they're purposely doing it. Let me finish. Let it's me a finish. difference of opinion Let me here. finish. Yeah, sure, but let, just let me finish. Uh, if they were not purposely exaggerating, then they would adjust the, the number they tell you you're getting paid based on the current value of Steve. Those Powell. numbers change. Have you not noticed that they change no, all the but time? but the number, listen, <laughs> I don't think you're hearing me, Leah. Okay. The value of Steam dollars yesterday when I got paid was 89 cents. Do you understand? It was less yeah, than of course. But the number they told me I was getting paid was calculated based on the assumption that a Steam dollar was equal to $1. You know what? I'm going to so make a note exactly. of this. I'm going to make a note of exactly all of the math and everything, and I will get it to someone that can re can uh, explain or and or talk this through because at this point I don't think we're seeing like the same the same thing. Well, just my like, point like is the that developers. Also, let's just go to the developers. Let's go to the source and ask them directly, and then it would be resolved. Well, it's not a problem. I'm just pointing out the way it works, and also you've noticed that they changed it before, so now the payouts look higher because they've included the curation rewards. Well, you know what? The payouts were a lot higher before when Steam no, was valuable. Change that they made yesterday. Did you I'll notice that? I'll have to look into it. Okay, well, but that change, that change makes the look. payout look bigger. So my the point I'm trying to make is that they are making conscious decisions. And I think no, that's an assumption that you have based on we haven't really gone into it. So No, but Leah, but it's my it's my point of argument and I've given evidence for it. But my, my point is and also just the decision to show it in show the payout in US dollars. So I, I have three data points to back up my argument. What I'm saying is I believe that they are making conscious decisions in order to incentivize and activate people's greed when I they don't come over. think, and I think that, that is a correct that, assessment. Well, I presented evidence from my point of view, Leah. And how about, how about, instead of greed, how about let's, let's take it away from the greed and incentivize people making money. And to be fair, if you real, this, this system caught on because people found out, holy shit, I can make money doing what I've been doing anyway. Incentivizing people to make money is a smart move on the developers to include in a psychological capacity. I don't think you should think that they aren't that smart to do it in the first place. Oh, point. I think they're brilliant. Exactly. Dad, Dad, those guys are brilliant. They're, they're I, I, and They so have very much my, considered these things as well. Yeah, yeah. but my ultimate point is, those things tend to incentive activate people's greed and that right. is counterproductive to exactly the points that Lee has been making, which I think are quite brilliant. And so when you arrive, you have to recognize that in yourself. When you arrive on the site, you have to recognize what's happening and you have to set that aside and do exactly what Leah has been saying, which is engage in egoless uh, acts of service to other yeah. people without worrying about your immediate payout. Yeah, it kind of attracts a greed, old, old, I'm going to use the word paradigm, old paradigm money-making mindset, and it brings them to this new system that kind of forces them to change the way they were going about their uh, ways of making money. They recognize that, oh, I need to go away from this old screw people over mentality and I need to add value and I'll get paid. And hot damn, I'll get paid more than I ever got before. But it's, it's kind of the system that forces people to adapt a new mentality so that they can um, actually succeed on the platform. If they don't, they just get screwed over um, and they leave. Mm. Right. You had a good point that the word value, that is where it's at. So basically, I think what when when you get into reading, by the way, George, have you read um, the blog, the Bytemaster blog, on which I've referred to several times? Uh, I think I've read a couple articles from it, but I haven't studied in, in depth. No. Okay, I've, I've studied that in depth. And if once you get to the third layer you will see something somewhat miraculous and you have to really spend a good deal of time. Okay. Right now, most people are on the first layer. That's where they're, they're existing. 
And once you get deeper into it, you start to see other things that are, you know, it's not easy to explain them because <laughs> the people that create immense value, those are the creators. Basically, the creators of we've gotten rid of our middlemen now. We're free. The developers, the artists, the creators, the people that have immense value within themselves, they can now share it. They can develop tools. Look at Roland P. He's a master at creating value. So really, we need to look at who are the, the masters of creating value. That should be the question. Because a value can be created with a number of different tools. You can create a program. You can develop something that has massive value for a lot of people. Those people are doing very well. Um, that, is the, that is the step, the leap that we need to take away from the self. But basically, you've got to know yourself, your strengths. Right. I want to do art. I don't want to moderate. I'm not into moderating. I don't like it. I'm into make creating. So really, I see that my strengths can create the most value for other people. So it's a combination. It's not one-sided. It's not like, oh, I just want to do this for me. Well, that's, that's great. But, you know, that's, that's not going to go as far as, hey, this thing that's why I created Secret Writer. I get to pay people every day. People give me grief for like, you're not giving all of the SPD, SB, SPD to, hey, I'm giving 50% of the steam dollars, which means I have to pay people every single day for their secrets. I do all the editing, all the photo choosing, all the formatting, all the grammar corrections. And also I would have to admit the non-native speakers, I'm kind of rewriting theirs because it's really rough. So for anyone that, that is a job to me. Anyone that criticizes me for doing that, I say, look, what are you doing for other people every single day? I got to ask them that. I would also like to point out that uh, in case it's not obvious to everybody listening, I, I want to point out that that takes a shit ton of integrity is if you check out uh liz um account balance you'll notice that it's it's not just small numbers anymore you're you're dealing with like a full uh financial ecosystem and to pay people out with nobody else telling you you have to and you could just pocket the money and you know you could fudge numbers or say screw it, pocket it, leave. Like it takes a lot of integrity to do what you're doing and to make it go long term, that's that's a it's a sweet deal. That that says something more about your character than I think most people would initially see. Well think about it this way, it's a two pronged sword. I have the highest reputation and steam it. Who else are you going to entrust your deep dark secrets to? And it, it all happened organically. So in other words, it wasn't some master thing like, I'm going to get the highest reputation. It happened by itself. But it also, it also works together. Having a high reputation means that I am not going to screw anyone over. It is not in my DNA. Mm -hmm. I must pay people right away, right when their post gets done. I either pay that day or the next day. And... Because I want to continue on this road of integrity. Precisely. I, th I feel that there's a lack of integrity in our systems because the people have been abusing workers. I have experienced that myself. It is a very abusive system that we're in on many well, levels. Yeah, so talking about Leah's character, I think that's a great segue into our fourth question, which is oh, perfect. who is at Stella Bell, right? So she's a, you know, a professional writer, as we said before. She's a former elite model. 